And so there's this big conversation about, um, you know, how quote unquote disruptive is this? Or does this much, is much more what Kai Christensen calls sustaining innovation, which is that this is something that gets adopted by the existing industry by and large. Um, you know, I don't think we know yet. My opinion tends to be that it's more sustaining, but there's certainly a lot of those kind of questions around, you know, how do these companies make that transition and understanding computing, understanding connectivity is kind of a big part of that. Yeah, well, uh, I, I see the point uh, uh, in terms of uh, evolving also the car uh, in terms of uh, the body of the car uh, uh, elements from uh, uh, our technology provider perspective. Uh, in, in a way, the, all the elements will be supported by the digital chassis. So the digital mm. chassis is uh, probably one element that will uh, enable differentiation from our perspective for the car manufacturer in the future. Uh, is already uh, happening, by the way, but uh, probably we are in an early uh, phase, early stage. The digital chassis is uh, combining uh, the telematics, so the connectivity that uh, we discussed, combining also the uh, technology for the cockpit and uh, uh, infotainment and uh, introducing also the ADAS. Digital chassis is a concept about having a central computer, about having the possibility for the different domains to talk each other, making available information data to the sensors, to the car, to the driver or to the car itself in case of full autonomy, 